Hey everybody, David here with TND Sports Cards. Welcome to another new video. Today we're going to open some packs of 1985 Fleer Baseball. And we're going to be looking for the usual suspects here with uh, uh, Kirby Puckett and Dwight Gooden, uh, Eric Davis. Uh, I believe uh, Oral Hershiser's rookie cards in here and uh, Roger Clemens as well. There's a bunch of Hall of Famers, uh, nice cars we could find in here, uh, along with uh, uh, some stars like Mattingly, uh, Nolan Ryan, Tony Gwynn, etc., etc. So uh, hopefully we can find any or all of these uh, cards that we're mentioning. And um, let's make this a great break. So fortunately for my stomach, there isn't any gum that I can swallow and hurt it with. We get a Boston Red Sox sticker instead of gum. All righty. So we will start with Dave Schmidt, Steve Rogers, Julio Franco, who played till he was like 75, so funny to like look at this card and 25 years later he was still playing. Dan Dreesen, UL Washington, Dennis Lamp, Bob Welch, rest in peace, Dave Collins, Pedro Guerrero, Brent Gaff, Jesse Orozco, who also pitched till he was uh, close to 75, Vern Rule. Rod Carew, there's a Hall of Famer for us. Tommy Herr and Tony Fernandez. So none of the none of the big ones in that one. And we have a Mariner sticker to start us off with that pack or this pack, sorry. So we have. Terry Whitfield, Mark Thurman, Steve Kemp, Dion James, Mike Ramsey, Tony Perez, that's another Hall of Famer, followed by another Hall of Famer and Bruce Souter, Kirk Gibson, who is probably borderline. And he had a very nice career. Dave Concepcion, Pat Putnam, Brad Kaminsk, Kevin Gross, Onyx Concepcion, Kelvin Chapman, and Greg Booker. So we found a couple of Hall of Famers in that one. All right, and we have a Met sticker. That's exciting. For Met fans who like stickers, uh, John Grubb, Ken Schramm, Mel Hall, Bill Gullickson, and we have a nice all-star card here. This is Gary Carter and Charlie Lee. And actually, Charlie Lee might have started the, the 84 all-star game. He did. That's, this is alluding to that. And we have Mark Hill. Mark Hill, I think, actually was on the Gary Carter's rookie card from the 75 set. I think he was one of the uh, the four catchers on it, if I remember correctly. So that's, a, that's an interesting find, being that we just found a Gary Carter. Uh, Chuck Porter, Willie Upshaw. Oh, there's, a, there's one of the rookies we were talking about. Earl Hershiser. Very nice. It's off center left to right, but it is one of the one of the names that we were hoping to find. He was a tremendous pitcher, especially the 88 season. I mean, he had 
he had a run that pitchers could only really dream of for uh, several months there. And I don't know why. Oh, there we go. Okay. All right. So we have a Mike Schmidt in action card. That's pretty nice. Uh, Bob Lacey. Charlie Liebrand, who was a very good pitcher and just always ran into bad luck in the postseason. You think of how many late-inning heroics happened against him. I mean, I know the Royals ended up winning the 85 World Series, but I don't. Rem I think it might have been the second game of that series. He had a shutout going into the ninth inning and lost it. it not only lost the shutout, but lost the game. And he also gave up the home run. I believe it was him that gave up the home run to... Uh, to Kirby Puckett in Game 6 of the uh, 91 World Series that um, with Jack Buck's famous call, we'll see you tomorrow. Uh, Gary Pettis, Joaquin Andujar, who he was a really good pitcher until Game 7 of the 85 World Series when he just completely lost his mind and basically, I mean, I only pitched a few more years, but he was never the same guy after that. And Alan Bannister. So we were fortunate enough, enough to find one of the big cards in that pack. And this pack is like cemented shut here. And we have a Dodger sticker here. All right, so we have Joel LaFay, Mark Thurmond, Paul Marabilla, Will Can Boyd, Bill Buckner, rest in peace, who had a wonderful career. Unfortunately, is remembered for one incident in the 86 World Series. I think when people hear Bill Buckner, that's what they think of, which is too bad for him because he really did have a great career. Kevin McReynolds, who... If you look at the back of his baseball card for at least the first six or seven years of his career, you would have thought he was a great player. When he played for the Mets, I have never, I don't think I've ever come across another player that had more meaningless runs batted in than this guy did. Yet you look at his card and he hit 290 with 100 runs batted in and 30 home runs. And you'd think, wow, this guy's good. Not to take anything away from him because statistics are statistics. Ron Kittle, he was a big home run hitter for a few years. Roy Smith, Scott McGregor, he's a good pitcher. Rick Mailer, Chili Davis, he was a good player. Mickey Hatcher, Terry Pendleton, another good player. He won uh, the 91 National League MVP, I think, with the Braves. Rick Roden, who Billy Martin thought it was a great idea to let him bat when he pitched for the Yankees. And Wayne Gross. So we have a pirate sticker. Steve Bye Bye Balboni, big home run hitter. Wally Backman, solid player for the Mets. Kurt Bavacqua, Odell Jones, David Palmer, Tony Bernazard. Hey, there's a Gary Carter. There's a Gary Carter on his own. This is actually a really nice card. It's centered very well. Showing off those cool Expos uniforms and that place they call the stadium. I went there once and it was literally like walking into a smelly wet basement. It was not exactly the most attractive park, but it's sad that the Expos are not there anymore. I hope Montreal gets a team again sometime in the future. Uh, that was Dean Orge, sorry. Uh, Jim Gott. Alejandro Pena. I saw somebody get a get an in the in mail autograph with him not too long ago, like within the past week or so. I forget whose video it was. I apologize for that. Jesse Barfield. He was a good player. Dave Anderson. Jose Okendo. El Cid. Good pitcher for the Mets for years. And our last card is Mike Lacoste. So we found 
some Hall of Famers here. We have uh, Gary Carter. We have a very nice Mike Schmidt in action car. That's pretty cool. I like how they kind of frame it out there. Uh, we have a Gary Carter and Charlie Lee all-star card from the 84 all-star game. Bruce Souter, Tony Perez, Rod Carew. And our, I guess our big find for this break was the Oral Hershiser rookie card. That was uh, super nice to pull this one. All right, guys, so that was uh, 1985 Fleer. I hope you enjoyed this. I certainly enjoyed opening them. Uh, if you're new to the channel, please like and subscribe. Uh, it helps uh, support and uh, grow us, so it's greatly appreciated. And uh, we will see you guys. Um, more than likely, our next video will be uh, our weekend way back. So we look forward to bringing that to you. And uh, enjoy the rest of your day. Thanks for watching.